Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to prepare for Informatica MDM interview. In today's tutorial, we are not going to see the actual interview questions which you have already seen in my other tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are mainly focusing on how to get ready, how to prepare for the interview. We are not going to see what are the questions, but we'll see how to make it more easy to prepare for those interview questions. So let's start. So as in that you have worked on a couple of MDM project, might be two or three or more than that. Then start preparing that information in a tabular format. The very first thing you need to prepare is details about the source sources which are getting used in your projects which are already completed or ongoing project so here is one of the example you can give the project name you can give the project duration what are the sources used and the mdm version which is which used in that project here is an example project name is abc which started in january 2013 and ended on May 2015. Sources used in that project are CRM, ERP, Sales, DNB. The version of MDM is 10.2. Assume that this is simple example. You can use like uh, any other information if you would like if you would like to say it or you want to maintain in the this tabular format. This is just sample data. This is not realistic thing. So you might see the MDM came in 2000. MDM 10 came in 2015. The version 10.2 is more recent than that. So uh, this is not exact data. This is just an example. Similarly, we have to list the other project with the project duration, sources used, and MDM version during that time. Once you have this information ready. Just before going for the interview, you can have just an overlook or you can have a look on this data. It will be easy to remember in which year you completed which project, what are the sources during that time, what was the MDM version during that time. What next thing you need to be ready with? And that information is nothing but the base object and other MDM tables statistics. On the left hand side, we can see the components. On the right hand side, we have to get information from each project you can see the components such as base object staging tables landing tables match rules on the right hand uh, right hand column that is the project name so you have to list the project name the third column will be the second project name the base object used in the abc projects are 14 staging tables are 42 the 42 is it's very straightforward as in that you have the three sources then 3 into the 14 base object that comes as a 42. So one staging table per source per base object. Keep in mind. Landing tables are 14. This landing tables can vary. The reason is multiple table uh, can be used per source or we can include single table for all sources. So the count of the landing table may vary. The match rules, it's, it's really good idea to consolidate this information in this statistic page. It will be very easy to memorize. Match rules for the org has a 3 exact and 4 fuzzy. Match rules for individual 2 exact and 3 fuzzy for ABC project. This information not necessary will be the same for the other project. The other projects might have the different configuration. So it's easy to just capture that. We don't have to we don't have to remember each and every information but having this information consolidated it will be easy to prepare for the interview so make sure you ca capture all this information how about the next thing so once we capture the statistic about the tables it's a good idea to capture the at least base object table names normally if the project is simple you might have like 14 to 15 table but if the project is very complicated, then you might have end up with the 50 to 70 tables or more than that. If it is project is simple, I would recommend to uh, document those table names, base object table name. Here I listed ABC project has 
LU that is lookup table for gender, phone type, customer type, and the base object tables are customer, address, phone, electronic address, and the relationship tables are customer phone and customer electronic address table, etc. So on the same line, if you want to capture, I would recommend capture those. It will be easy to memorize. What are the components used in that project? This is very vital slide, I would say. Because most of the time we forget what use in what project. So if you calculate or if you prepare this spreadsheet, it will be easy to have a quick look and have a um, easy to remember this thing. The components used in the ABC projects are JMS, user exit, IDD, Entity 360, services integration framework for customization or building web service, provisioning tool, legacy IDD, custom cleans functions, active OS, legacy BPM engine. So you can just ma mention either used, if it is used then mention yes, if it is not used mention no. Here if you see the active OS and legacy BPM engine, the legacy is not used but active OS used in ABC project. It's very easy to remember. Legacy I did in Entity 360 can be used at the same time. So that's the reason I mark those components as yes. the rest of things is depend on your project requirement and project um, needs. What else you need to know? Of course, we need to know the MDM architecture. So have this slide ready. So it involves the landing tables, staging table, base object tables, the processes such as stage process from pushing the data from landing to staging where delta detection happens, cleansing happens. Then the pushing data from staging to base object is called load process whether we apply the trust, we apply the validations during this phase. Once the base object is loaded, we run the match, tokenization, then match and then merge or we can say the match and merge. So this process runs in the cycle for the particular batch. So have this slide ready, it will give us a bigger view, a picture to remember what are the processes involved. You should also know some of the important repos table. I would say it's a metadata table, some people say it's an infrastructure table. There are two levels, infrastructure tables or metadata tables available. First is staging table level. The, the tables available are raw, PRL, reject, and OPL. That is online previous landing table if you are using uh, safe APIs. The base object table level, uh, base object table level metadata tables are XREF, HIST if HIST is enabled, FMHA that is match flag audit table generated at runtime. You will not see that during, uh, once the match process is complete. BO table. EMI table, EMO table for external match and external uh, input and external match output. History merge, MTCH that is for match table, STRP that is newly introduced table for generating tokens, VCT, VXR for validation, history XREF, control table, and uh, STRP that is which is already mentioned. So these are the metadata table available at staging and the base object level. We also should know some basic about the match configuration. Suppose the components on the left side we are listed. What is the match type used in the project? What is search level configured? What is match level configured? And what is key width used? These are the options available. It is not necessary all the option will be used. Match type either use auto, both or none search level either one of this will be used either narrow typical exhaustive extreme match level could be typical conservative or loose sorry for the typo there key width standard extended limited and preferred make sure for your project mention one for your reference i just mentioned all these values so that you can have this in your mind but make sure for each project mention one of these values, not all of them. Of course, we need to know the tokenization process. How it is worked, we don't. We have we have the separate video tutorial for that. But how it is configured in your project? Is it configured 
tokens is configured to generate tokens just before match process or is it configured auto at the end of load process or are you running tokenization job manually before executing match so make sure you can just mark accordingly as no for your project we need to know some of the important repulsible this might be asked in the interviews and that's the reason the metadata table such as c repos mq data change this is jms related meta repos table c repos applied log for checking if the current job is running or not c repo job control to see what are the job completed what what are the jobs failed what are the running the history of the job etc you can see in this job control table job matrix to get the stats about the each job c repos db uh, db release to get the database related information C repos SSA population to see the population detail whether you are use a US population you are use international population etc. Operate ORS level properties whether the batch API interoperability used or not. If it is used, make yes for your project. What is the get list limit? Normally it's a higher the value like three thousand five thousand. Default value is two hundred. You might know that. The population use either US or international based on your project requirement. We should also know about the survivorship. The highest is the trust. Trust so record will be the survived. If the so trust is same, then source last update date from the extract will be used to check the which one is the winner. If the source last update date is also same, then the highest royalty object from the base object will be chosen. If the ROID object is also same, then the ROID extract from the extract will be chosen. This logic or this survivorship is applicable for both trust enable and non trust enable columns and the values. We should also know some basics about this Hubstead indicator. Hubstead indicator 1 means active, minus 1 means deleted, 0 means pending, and important, minus 9 means. If history is enabled after hard delete in xref or base object, record will be marked as a hubstead indicator minus one. That is just important. We also should be aware about the consolidation indicator. One means it's a BVT golden record. Two means it's a ready for merge. Three means it's a ready for match. Four means it's a completely new record. And nine means the record is put record put on the hold by the data steward. There are also some promote indicator. Zero means do not promote the record if it is in the state like the pending state or active state, etc. One means promote record to active, and these are the indicators particularly used in the internally in MDM processes. Have you used any scheduler or the what is the optimization mechanism in your project? If someone asks this question, make sure you have the answer ready. Normally, Autosys and Tivoli's are used for the scheduling. You can list your project name and what optimization you have used in your project. You can list that. It's easy to remember. And the last but not less, very important. You should list all the issues you are noticing in your project. For example, ABC's project and you should notice is null match issue. Resolution. What is the resolu resolution? Was recommended from Informatica or what did you encounter? What did you propose? How? It got fixed you can mention that also it's very important this is normally a very basic question asked in every interview what are the issues you have identified notice and how did you fix it so it's easy to list it so that you can convey or you can answer those questions very confidently during the interview I hope this tutorial is going to help you to get ready for your next Informatica MDM interview if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you for your valuable comments and valuable response. Keep watching this space. Have a nice time.